So let us now create a bottom up automation. It will be similar to the top down automation board that we, or rather the structure board that we created earlier. But in this particular case, the use case is a, a bit different. Uh, and let us now learn how to do it. So if you go to the structure option on top, and if you click on the create structure option, let us now create an empty structure again. And this time I will name it as bottom up automation. And I may want to search, uh, say, share this particular board with uh, everyone in my Jira software users group. So if you click on the create button, you will be presented with the option to take a look at all the, all the options that you have right now. So right now the board is actually empty. So let us now create uh, a bottom up automation uh, board. And uh, after you create uh, this empty structure board, you will be able to now include some issues under it. So let us now do it uh, by going to the plus option on top. And my objective is to create or create a list of all the stories in my sprint. And uh, I want to also group those uh, stories based on the people or the users or the assignees who are working on those stories. So let us now first create this uh, particular uh, uh, list with all these stories in my Jira instance. Of course, uh, you can use uh, your insert JQL uh, option here to include all these stories. So let me now type in my JQL issue type is equal to story. And the good thing about this particular uh, feature is that while you are inserting your JQL query, uh, this works exactly similar to your issue navigator so that uh, uh, you can use the autocomplete feature to quickly type in your uh, JQL. And uh, you can now see probably, yes, you can see all the stories that you have in your Jira instance. Now I want to display this particular list based on the assignee of these stories. So let us now click on the plus sign again and uh, Instead of using the insert option, because we really don't want to insert more issues, we just want to group it based on uh, the assignee. So select the group by option and then select assignee. And you can see here very quickly that the same list is now very nicely and neatly grouped by the uh, developers or the users uh, who are assigned uh, uh, on those stories. So this looks really good. Uh, one thing that you can also do here is that you can also further include a few other things like let us say you want to also mention your sprint name, uh, because you also may want to know you maybe you, want, you, you just want to have this group by option based on the sprint, then you can take a look at uh, all the users who are working on uh, a particular sprint. So this is a very useful and a neat view. For example, I can see here that in my sample sprint one, only one developer or one one person is uh, is allocated, which is probably not good. Uh, on on my sample sprint two, I can see here that I have three users. Oh no, I, I have two users, but uh, uh, there are some stories uh, which are not really assigned to anyone. So you can probably assign it to a specific uh, user in your Jira instance. So it's a very nice view. And uh, uh, the reason it is called bottom up automation is because we are trying to display the simple list of issues, but we are using the group by option. And the good thing about this particular uh, this particular view is that instead of uh, first grouping it by the sprint, uh, and then assigning, you can also change the option on top. So if you move your assignee on top, the same the same list will be for, will be now uh, changed to display the user first and then the sprint within the within the user. So you can you can actually easily switch the view if you want. So let us now uh, move it back to the original uh, view where we first want to take a look at all the sprints and then the users allocated under those sprints. And of course, when you go further, you can take a look at all the stories. And if you also want to display the subtask now in this particular view, so you can do the same thing here, you can go to insert and you can then uh, uh, no, not the insert, sorry, you need to go to the extend option. And just make sure that your uh, 
that that your view uh, or that your option or row selected on top is uh, bottom up automation because we want to display this uh, subtask to all the issues or all the stories so if you click on the plus option and if you click on the extend option you can then select maybe the subtask because we want to display the subtask and then click on the apply so the same list is now uh, or it should now display the subtask so you can see here very clearly using structure you can create this hierarchy of issues which is really useful and uh, this looks uh, really simple uh, to me I, I don't think uh, it is difficult to learn how to work on structure it's all about uh, bringing all the issues together in your structure board the way you want you can create a top down or a bottom up automation type of structure boards that can be updated automatically.